I just love a breakfast sandwich. Something about having warm eggs and cured meats and hot sauce and crispy bread just really hit the spot for me. And we Koreans love breakfast sandwiches too. We just call it toast. No, I'm not f***ing with you. We literally call it tosetsu. It's just a really, really strange toast. Mom used to make this a lot for breakfast, but most Koreans just buy this at a street stall on their way to work in the morning. And I guess this is healthy because we begin with some coleslaw mix. Okay, okay, stay with me on this. This is good. For one sandwich, take about two eggs and mix in one cup of this coleslaw mix. You can grate your own cabbage and carrots too, of course. And now the bread. You can use any thick sliced bread, but the best bet is some Asian style milk bread or shokupan. And now why this toast is called toast. Take a stick of unsalted butter, and rub it against your skillet like a glue stick. In Korea, the street stalls usually use a hunk of margarine, so you can use that too. When the butter foams up like that, gently toast your bread on both sides until they're golden brown. Take them out, apply more butter, and fry your cabbage and egg mixture. Back in Korea, they usually fry the bread and the egg at the same time, but I don't have a cast iron plancha, and I'm guessing neither do you. Careful now, the trick is not to underfry the eggs to be runny, but not overfry it to cook the cabbage and make this a watery, mushy mess. We just want it cooked through. But if you think this weird hotel omelet order is it, you'd be wrong, because guess what we're doing next? On this barely seasoned eggs, we are spraying on ketchup and some flaky sea sugar. We are actually putting sugar on ketchup. Put a slice of cheese on there too, I, I guess. And if you follow me this far, you'll be rewarded for your gullibility because there is no way sugar and ketchup covered coleslaw egg on butter toast is good. Except it is. It's amazing. It's not what you imagine a breakfast sandwich to taste like, sure, but weirdly enough, it tastes like a great vegetarian Reuben. It's tangy, it's crunchy, and it's buttery. But now let's go a step further. I live in Southern California, and around here you can always get a torta, a Mexican sandwich with refried beans, cheese, and meats. And you know what Korean dish has the same elements? Puritjige, aka army stew. So I thought, how about an army stew inspired breakfast torta? So now, let's confuse Americans, Koreans, and Mexicans at the same time. And that's why the bread is Hawaiian. Take your King Hawaiian roll, cut across, and toast like we did those milk toasts. And you can do the same thing with the eggs and the coleslaw mix again, too. Now let's discuss the army stew element of this sandwich. Three things are a must. Some kind of ham, spam in my case, some kimchi, and some beans. The spam I'm just frying until golden brown and crispy with a slice of cheese on top. The beans should be baked beans, but I value my life, so I'll just smear some decent refried black beans. The kimchi? Well, you could just stack some in the sandwich, but I'm loading up a dishwasher by making some kimchi mayo. Let's just take some kewpie and put in as much kimchi as you like with a glug of ketchup. Which in hindsight is basically in and out spread with kimchi instead of relish. Now let's assemble the sandwich. I'm smearing some refried beans in the bottom, then the spam and the cheese, then the Korean street style eggs, maybe some slices of avocado, and finally, some of that spicy, sweet kimchi spread on top. And how does it taste? <laughs> it's freaking amazing, dudes. The thing is, this is not a breakfast sandwich, because I can't imagine going to work after eating this.